Good morning, everybody. I welcome you to another telecast of New Covenant Church, Okebola Center. I may I start by greeting you, Happy Easter, all over the world, and our people from New Covenant Church. We worship and adore the Lord God Almighty for his faithfulness and mercy and for his finished work at Calvary. Welcome on board. It is my belief that as we are gathered together to listen to this telecast, the Lord God of heaven and earth will bless your heart richly in the name of Jesus. Bow down your heart wherever you may be. I'd like to pray with you. Heavenly Father, we thank you 
for this great privilege and opportunity to be part of this telecast today. God of heaven, we appreciate you for giving Jesus to the earth. He came and he perfected all that he needed to do for the salvation of mankind. And so we are so glad, Heavenly Father, that we are the product of his crucifixion and his resurrection. So Father, we say thank you. As we gather together at this point in time, we like to hear you. Please speak to us. Let, grant us understanding of the things that are in your heart as far as your resurrection is concerned. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, today being the day of the Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, arose from the dead. He made me to remember a song we sing in those days, that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, oh yes, oh yes, hallelujah, he arose. Oh yes, oh yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, he arose, the King of kings arose. Hallelujah, he arose. Oh yes, oh yes. If he had not risen, our confession and profession will have been in vain. But we give glory to God because our Savior and Lord rose again. Hallelujah, he rose to give us victory. And so this morning, I want to minister to us on what I tie to, it is finished. And I like to take my text from the book of John chapter 19 i will read verse 30 and after that i'll be reading to us from the book of isaiah 53 i'll read from verse 2 through to 12. john chapter 19 verse 30. so when jesus has received the sour wine he said it is finished and bowing his head he gave up his spirit hallelujah Isaiah chapter 53, Isaiah 53, the Bible says from verse 2, For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of dry ground. He has no form or comeliness, and when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected by men. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our face from him. He was despised and we did not esteem him. Surely he has bore our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. And he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every man to his own way. And the Lord laid, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter. As a sheep before the Sierra is silent. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who would declare his generation. For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people they were striken. And they make him grief with the wicked. But they make his grave with the wicked. But with the rich in death, because he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in him. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He has put him in grief. When you make a soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the labor of his soul, and be satisfied by his knowledge my righteous servant shall justify many for he shall bear their iniquity therefore i will divide him a portion with the great and he shall divide the spoil with the strong and he bore the sin of many 
and made intercession for the transgression. May the Lord bless the reading of his word into our heart in the name of Jesus. I have read to us a long passage that talks about all that Jesus Christ came on earth to accomplish. He was a chosen lamb of God. You see, and he finished all that he needed to do here on earth. The Lord Jesus Christ started well and he finished well. And so he was bold to declare while on the cross, he voluntarily gave his life and then he declared it is finished. You know, when, you, when the starting of the thing is always very good, but the ending most of the time should be better than the starting. Some of us, we have started certain things, but in the middle, we begin tired and weary, and so we stop, we never conclude the purpose for which God has brought us up. The particular project that we started, we stop it halfway. God is not always involved in a partial work. Once he started the work, he usually finished it. And then f going through all the scriptures, I have come to realize that it was Paul that made the same statement that the Lord Jesus Christ made. And that will be found in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 7. Paul declared, I have finished my course. He finished his course. It is my prayer for all my listeners that you will finish your course. Because, you see, the journey of faith usually starts at Calvary. But, you see, it must end in heaven. So, between Calvary and heaven, there are so much that you need to cover. There are tribulations and trials. Some of us will have to go to our individual crosses. And if we are able to endure our crosses, then definitely we will have the result of heaven. So listen to me. If you have started the race of grace, please continue in the grace, in the race. No matter what you may be going through at this point in time. Because the beginning may be good, but concluding should be better and greater. The Bible says, though your starting points look small, you see, your latter hand should be greatly enlarged. And you see, your ultimate as a believer is that once you start at Calvary, you should help up in heaven. You should be able to sing with the saint at the end of the day. You should be able to lay down your soul before the almighty or before the throne and say, God, thank you. I have finished my course. Everything that Jesus Christ needs to do concerning the salvation of men, concerning reconciliation of men to God, he finished it and he finished it gallantly. In the midst of temptations, in the midst of trials, in the midst of agony and pain, he went through all that and he finished it and he did that because of us he did that because of humanity you see if you go to the book of revelation chapter 5 and you start to read from verse 1 it was let me paraphrase it was about a discussion that was happening in heaven before the foundation of the world because god knows that mankind will fumble because man fumbled in the days <laughs> because man fumbled in the days of adam so there is need for a man there is need for a lamb to be crucified and so the lord jesus christ chose in the book of revelation 5 to come and unseal the seal he stood and said i will go and so that is why they call him the lamb of god that was crucified that was slaughtered before the foundation of the world he had already concluded his work in heaven before he came on earth now at this point in time i have a word to deliver to you what are the benefits that you derive from all that the Lord Jesus Christ has accomplished for humanity on the cross? One of them is redemption. If you go to the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 14, the Bible discourses that we are, we are reconciled to God by him. So he paid for our redemption. He paid for our redemption. The Lord Jesus Christ did that. And in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7, we were forgiven. We received forgiveness of our sins. We received the forgiveness of our iniquity. The sins that we are committing and the iniquity that are inherited. Every one of it, the Lord, you see, got us forgiven. Got us forgiven while he was hanging on the cross. Point number three, 
we were reconciled to God. We that are no people, we were reconciled to God. According to Romans chapter 5 verse 10, we were reconciled to God. Number four, we gain acceptance because of the finished work at Calvary. We were accepted in the beloved. God gave us an embrace. We that have been separated from the Lord, we are drawn closer. God Almighty give us an embrace because his son Jesus Christ has shed his blood on Calvary. Number five thing that we receive at Calvary is that we had salvation. We have salvation. We had salvation. The book of Acts chapter 4 verse 12 said there is no salvation in any order but in the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is given to, to humanity through the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever will come unto him, he will in no way cast away. Because for that purpose he was born. The Bible says at his birth that he will save his people from their sins. And you know, of course, John 3, 16 says, God loves the word that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever will come to him, whoever will trust in him, will not perish but we have everlasting life. Praise the Lord. We have healing through the finished work at Calvary. We have healing. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 talked about that he was wounded because of our sin. He was bruised because of our iniquity. The chastisement that brought us peace was upon him. And by his stripe we are healed. It's in the present continuous. Men and women yet unborn. You know, as long as we will come to be identified with the cross and the word of the Lord Jesus Christ in the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 5. You are covered. Your healing is secure maybe COVID-19 or not COVID-19 whatever it may be whatever virus that may yet come whatever pestilence that may happen by the blood of Jesus and by his finished word at Calvary you are healed, you are covered hallelujah you, find, you don't need that you don't need any vaccine because you are immune in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ those are the benefits that we derive as he finished the work at Calvary. So we give praise to God. Now we have deliverance from all causes. Every ancestral causes. You know, the causes that we entered into by ourselves. Praise the Lord. We are delivered. We are set free. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 verse 14 says that we are covered. All the handwriting. It said, who is he that is hanging upon the cross? He become a hanging on the cross and so we are cleansed we are covered the curses are lifted give praise to the Lord for all the finished work at Calvary I like to stop here because of time and hopefully when one of these days we're going to continue but listen to me praise be to God for the finished work at Calvary you are cleansed you are delivered you are immune you are set free you are saved Hallelujah. We give you praise, Almighty God. Thank you, Eternal Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I like to pray with you wherever you may be. Maybe you are going into any sickness at this point in time. I release the virtual and the power of the Holy Ghost to touch you. By the stripe of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Anybody there that you are not safe, you are not sure you are safe for this purpose, he hung on the tree. All you need to do is just come to him. If you are there, you can just raise your hand on your chest as I pray with you. Heavenly Father, these men and women that are taking decisions, are making decisions at this time, let the finished work of Calvary be revealed unto, unto them so that they too will become redeemed and they become a beloved in the Lord. Thank you, eternal Father. Thank you for the work that you have accomplished on Calvary. We worship and, and bless you because all of us, we are covered by the same blood that was shed on Calvary. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.